Hey there everyone, this is Danielle checking out Cooking Simulator. Uh, this is a game I've never played but I know a decent amount about. Uh, that's because Josh over at Let's Game It Out has played this game a lot and it looks absolutely hilarious. So I'm just going to dive in and see what it's like. Um, the reason we're playing on the Switch, like, I think this game would probably be better played with a mouse and keyboard, you know, on Steam or whatever. Uh, but I got the Switch version because it was 90% off. It cost $3, so... Um, I'm just gonna dive in and we're gonna see how it goes. If I'm gonna play this a lot, I might end up picking up another version just so I can use better controls. But for the moment, I'm gonna stick with the good old Pro Controller and see how we go. Uh, I haven't launched it yet, but I'm about to. Uh, as the name implies, it's, you know, a game where you do cooking. And it's got like a physics simulation and stuff, so you can do some pretty chaotic types of cooking. <laughs> Let's dive in and just see how we go. Uh, I don't really know the publishers and stuff at all, but they, there you go. Cooking Simulator. It's loading. <laughs> It does look a little uh, violent there with the logo. Not sure why a, like a green capsicum or whatever would have red stuff in it, but there you go. Okay, so we've got a uh, new game, load game, sandbox, cooking school, settings and credits. Look at the settings first. Uh, these defaults are probably fine. Let's just start a new game and see how we go. I don't know if this corner is the right place to be. We'll find out when we get into the game. Most people skip tutorials. Most people will regret this. Hmm. <laughs> you say so. I mean, I'm going for the tutorial, so I'm not going to regret it because I'm going to not skip it. I can hear sorts of noises going on. Your guard is not stuck, I'm seeing the same thing you are. Hey yeah, welcome to Cooking Simulator. As you've already noticed, the restaurant you're now employed in does not have the greatest rating. The ask to restore it to its former glory and reach the highest level of prestige. Good luck! Uh, yes. I am the manager of this place. Since it's your first day, I'll show you the ropes. All right. Before we start, three important things you need to know in case you get lost. Oh no, everything's broken. One, controls are always displayed in the bottom right corner of the screen. I'm gonna move my face. During this tutorial, you can view your task in the bottom left corner of the screen. There we go. Control will auto save between stages. If you get lost or stuck, you can always go back. This game looks a lot lower resolution on the Switch than it does um, on Let's Game It Out, so I assume the Switch version is quite limited. Get the phone, we need to call some professionals. Go to the marked area. Phone. Over here? Oh, there it is. How do I pick it up? A button. What a mess, we need to get that gas cooker running ASAP. I want to repair the gas cooker. Oh, I see. I can I can re request a re repair from one of these companies. Nice corp, pricey though. Um, what repair do I want? When in the right spot? Okay. What do I do now? It says, it says go to the marked area, but I'm in the marked area, aren't I? I'm confused. Oh, you pick someone that's fast. Okay. Uh, fast service, there you go. Did it do it? Repair. Um, do I have that much money? What's happening? 
This game is not making a good first impression, I have to say. Um... Repair. Is this the right thing? I'm trying to repair something else. One of these, maybe? What's a gas cooker, exactly? Is it this thing? Um... <laughs> oh no, I'm lost. Oh no. These things are fryers, right? And this thing is- this thing, I think, is a gas cooker. I'm pressing repair and nothing's happening. Maybe it's someone who's faster? It doesn't look like it's working. I think the tutorial might be broken. This is not a good first impression. <laughs> uh, it's not that thing. Uh, those are just like shelves or whatever. Maybe it wants me to go to something else. Oh, I bet it's this thing. This thing. Okay, okay, 45 seconds. Yeah, I'll do. Okay, money. Trying to go bankrupt. Even the kitchen costs money. No money out of business. Okay. Okay, so this thing is a gas cooker. Okay. I misunderstood what it wanted me to do. <laughs> uh, let's get the cheap repair service. There we go. That should do the trick. Put the phone away anytime soon, I hope. I'll just uh, chuck it over there. Goodbye, phone. This is empty. I'm going to find the boxes and buy a blender. Go to the marked area. Okay, over here. Browse shop. Well, I don't think I already have anything. Uh, utensils? Blender. Yeah, buy that. Now put the blender away. How do I put it away? Can we just throw it? I can. We faster if we move the box. Hover over, press X to pick it up. And put it down on the countertop. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to put things down, so I just throw it. <laughs> uh, oops. Oh, I see. Put down. Like that. Bake tray. Uh, we need two big pots. Why does this shop not have- does this, like, re restaurant not have anything? It needs to have these things, right? Yep, let's throw this knife, I'm sure that's fine. <laughs> okay. Recipes, go to the laptop. Alright. Use the laptop. Press on the recipe manager in the left side menu. On the not owned tab to open the recipe. One underneath your face? Okay. For baked trout, press on the highlighted button. Oh, I see. I buy it using the hats. I guess. How do I buy it? What do I press? One. Tomato soup, that should be pretty easy. Okay. Exit the laptop? Yeah, I did. I know what I'm doing. Sort of. We need spices. Let's visit the shop. Okay, browse the shop. Salt. I wouldn't call salt a spice, but go off, I guess. i put it away. Go over there. Oh, I need lots of stuff.
I didn't seem to be able to select multiple things. I have to actually go back in and like, go to the next one like this. A bit. Did I buy two cayenne peppers? No, I don't think I did. Yeah, it's, it's actually clearing things out of the menu as I buy them, so I can't buy the same thing twice. I would say the Switch port of this game is probably not super good. Um, I was a lot more impressed with the version Josh was playing, uh, which I think is just the Steam version, so I might end up just getting this off Steam if I enjoy it. I need liquids. Alright. Liquids. Oh, we need chicken broth. Of course we do. Oops. Uh, uh closed bottle. I didn't mean to take the lid off. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, I won't throw this because that's a glass bottle. If I break it, I don't know what, what will happen. I did my part. Serve me a baked trout. Alright. Alright. Yeah, this is... I'm pretty sure the Switch is capable of looking a lot better than this. I think this is a bad port. Okay, someone ordered a dish. Need a trout. Let's find the refrigerator, shall we? This should be inside. Open the door and buy one. But I have to buy them? Buy product. Oh, I do. Okay. Now put that trout on a cutting board. Where's my cutting board? Uh, I think I threw it over here somewhere. Maybe? God, where did I put it? Oh god, where is it? <laughs> okay, that's like a, a, a cook cook pan. Oh, there's the cutting board. It's over there. Hang on, I'll put the trout over here first. You just, you just go there while I get my cutting board. <laughs> Oh, jeez, I should not have thrown the cutting board that far, <laughs> evidently. Okay, let me a trout. Get on the cutting board. Get, get on the cutting board. There we go. Uh, black pepper, dill and thyme, five grams each. Uh, black pepper. I get the fish, so I just aim at it. Like that. Okay, uh, then I cancel. Okay. And then I have to swap it for something else. Not very realistic, you can only hold one thing at a time if you think about it. Like, do I only have one hand? Maybe. Oops. It's a little bit too much time. Uh, sorry. Get some dill. It might be more fun if I just go into sandbox mode, honestly. It looks like the tutorial is pretty annoying. There we go. We done? Oh, oops, I accidentally seasoned the cutting board with dill instead of the fish. <laughs> oh, whoops. Hang on, come back here. There we go, is that better? No, it's still on the, went on the cutting board. Um, what am I doing wrong here? Try repositioning the, the fish a little bit, maybe? Oops. Okay, okay, um, this is the normal part of all cooking, when you put the food on the floor for a little bit. Don't worry about that. Uh... What am I doing wrong here? It wants the fish to be sticking out off the end there for some reason. I don't know why. Cutting board? No. No, that's, that's still the cutting board. Okay, it went on the trout that time. Oh, thank god. Okay, you go over there. Uh, put the trout on the bake tray. Okay, the bake tray is over here on the floor. That's probably fine, right? Put in container. Use many trays at the same time. Okay, so we put this in the oven. Uh, there we go. Use the dial to turn the oven on. Leave it in for 90 seconds. Need a lemon, buy one. Okay, so this this cardboard box will sell us a lemon. Uh I think. Yep, there we go. Let's it on the cutting board. Okay. I feel like we should probably like use a different cutting board because that had raw fish on it, but you know, whatever. Use the knife to cut the lemon into four pieces. Here's the knife. Yeah, uh holding ZL. Okay. I can do that. Uh, 
Oh, I see. Uh, how does this work? Oop! Uh, rotate. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Rotate, rotate. About there. There we go. Done. Still waiting for the trap to bake. I don't know how long it's been in there. Can I hover over it and see? Doesn't look like it. The eleven quarters aren't exactly the same size. Actually, that one's really tiny. I don't know what happened there, but close enough. <laughs> oh, jeez. How long has this thing been on? Does it tell me? I'm not seeing a message or anything. Okay, good. Uh, buy a plate. Uh, okay. Oh, wait. Oh, I need to buy a plate off the floor. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> like, it's already in the kitchen. Why am I buying it? Uh, take. Five grams of horseradish. Okay, so I want to put this plate down very carefully. I know the plates in this game are very fragile, so we're going to need to be very careful what we do with them. Uh... Plate, the plate. I pick up the lemon quarters. Oh, and then I put them on the plate. Oh, neat. Uh, put, pick some fresh parsley onto the plate. Where's where's parsley? Do we even have that? Oh, it's over here. Oh, there we go. That one gram. There we go. I need to serve it. It looks beautiful. Look at that delicious meal. Okay, so I have to put it on this shelf. Here you go. Oh, I got some fame. Yes, displeased. Were there complaints? Flavor perfect. Lemon bad cutting technique. Oh. No wonder. That's it for today. Okay. I guess that's the tutorial done. Um, I don't really get why I have to buy the plates and stuff, but okay. Total income, no. <laughs> oh, new perks available. What, what are the perks? Additional skill points, steady hands. Plates will never break. Fast feet. Bottles will never break. Heat proof gloves. Long reach. Oh yeah, of course. As you become a more experienced person, your arms get longer and the plates become unbreakable, of course. Uh... Thermal vision. That sounds good. Wait, can I go back? Can I go back? It said something was recommended for new players, but I couldn't get it. Uh, I have skill points. Uh, let's see. Lots of options here. That sounds like it might help me. <laughs> um, durable equipment. And solar cooling, that sounds good to me. Okay, day two. <laughs> I am excited. Um, I am excited to have all my utensils on the floor. My favorite place for them. Uh, let me just put some of these things up on the counter. Oh, laptop time? Okay. Skills. Uh, I did that already, but okay. 
Thanks. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, oh, we wasted all of preparation time. Whoopsie daisies. <laughs> oh, hi. Salmon steak with boiled potatoes. Okay, so I need some potatoes. I should really put them in the big pot. Yeah, like this one, for example. One liter of cold tap water. Uh, where's the sink? Do we have a sink? Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, put container down there and the tap on. Oh god, stop, stop! <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, how much water is in there? Uh, a bit much. Uh, let me need some salt. Salt is this one. It would definitely be a much more playable game on, like, a computer, I think, than it is on the Switch. Maybe why it was 90% off. Go and buy two potatoes while holding the pot. Okay, I'm holding a really heavy pot of water here, so... Let's be real careful. Uh, can I... Buy things while I'm holding the pot, or let me? I'm trying. So let me go into buy mode. Uh, do I need to buy them from somewhere else? Oh, are they over here? Are they in the fridge? Uh, I don't think so, I don't see them. Oh, they're over there, okay. Hello, potatoes. Place the pot on the cooker. Uh, that's this thing, right? The stove? I call that a stove. Uh, I'll switch it on. Which one is which one is it? This one? Nope, not that one. Is it this one? Is that working? Sounds like it's working. Okay, uh, I need to go to the refrigerator and get a salmon fillet, which is this thing. Yum, yum, yum. Put it on a cutting board. Go. Season with salt and black pepper. There's some black pepper. Love that stuff. There we go. And then salt as well, which should be here somewhere. Oh, I'll put it over there, right. Give me a salt. Oops. Uh, there we go. Frying oil, so I'll, frying in oil, so we'll need a pan. There's a pan over there. Now place it on the cooker. I call this thing a stove. I don't know why you don't call it a stove. It's weird. Uh, Ten mils of sunflower oil. That's this stuff. Okay. Here we go. That work? Was that enough? Oh, I think it went on the floor. Sorry. Um, can I get some more? <laughs> uh, sunflower oil. Uh, bye. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's too much. Uh, cancel. Uh. Okay, I put that over there. Where did my salmon fillet go? Wait, did I, did I actually cut? What, what was the cutting board for? I didn't actually cut it. Okay, now I want to find a plate. Uh, grab one from there, there we go.
There we go. Yum, 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 yum. This thing sizzling, or...? Mr. Oh, right, right. Hang on. That's the wrong burner. Just, uh, turn the burner on. <laughs> yeah, this would be a lot better with a mouse than with a, a little trackpad thingy. Definitely. You getting cooked now? You getting, you getting hot? Yep, there we go. Look at that temperature. Excellent. Not sure why I bought this mixer thingy first, because I'm not doing anything with it. What is it, a blender? Yeah. Can I get like a mop or something and clean up that mess I just made? <laughs> um, there we go, here's the mop. Is that a mop? Yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go. There we go. There we go! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Now you're gonna go back. Back in back where you belong. Oh god. Uh, return to spot. There we go. Okay, you still frying? You you're getting delicious? Yep, it's working. Okay. Now, I'm gonna pick up the plate and put the salmon on it. Plate. Okay, put the plate on the serving shelf. Go to here. And it's the only one we're doing, which is this one. There you go. How did I do? I got another eight points. I guess that was pretty good. Uh. Too much salt. Yeah, I did, I did put in a bit much salt. <sighs> no time for slacking off. Uh, who are you? Do I know you? I turn these off real quick. There we go. Okay, pick a big pot. Uh, here we go. 700 millions of chicken broth. What? I'm making tomato soup. Why would I use chicken broth? Chicken's not tomato. Why are we putting all this other stuff in here instead of tomato? Like, what, what do you think a tomato soup is? to the pantry and buy eight tomatoes in. Okay, finally, some tomatoes. Um, over here? Are these things tomatoes? Is that a tomato? Yes. Final touch me an onion? Alright. I guess we can add an onion. Put on the cooker. When you say the cooker, you mean the stove, right? There we go. Bye bye tomato! Why are we putting them in chicken broth? What, what are we doing? It's, it's tomato soup, it's not chicken soup. You don't even have to like cut up the tomatoes or anything, they're just whole tomatoes. I think this is how it works. <sighs> Wait, 
The tomatoes are nearly cooked, but the soup isn't. What's going to happen? Turn off the heat and blend the contents of the pot. Okay. Oh, the blender! Oh, we're going to use the blender. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's blending time. Yes. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's time. It's time. Uh, oop. Move it around as well? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Now we're gonna put sour cream in there for some reason. Because... Uh, reasons. Okay, uh, we should probably clean that now that we've... Wait, has the sour cream not been refrigerated? We just have... you just have it sitting out here? Oh no. <laughs> okay, um... Stop telling me how much sour cream there was, because I stopped for a second. Rude. Deep plate. Okay, so like a bowl? Yeah, like a bowl. <laughs> uh, what? Yep. I assume I need to take the pot. Oh, I take the pot. Okay. Take the pot. Definitely I can hold this with my bare hands, that's perfectly safe. Uh, it doesn't look like pressing A is how you do it. It doesn't look like that does anything. Do I need to tilt it this way? Yes, that works. Making a mess, but it's working. You go back there. Okay. I'm here soup that has chicken broth in it for no reason. Yeah, that's the stuff. Extremely vegan tomato soup. No chicken. <sighs> I don't know what that noise was. Uh, guest complaints. Too much cayenne pepper. Too much sour cream. Too much salt. Too much of everything, really. I would have done a little bit less, but the game, like, didn't let me go through until I actually said... Oh, and this one on my own? Oh god, how do I make baked trout? Uh, I need to get a trout. Trout is in here, alright? Yeah, there we go. Give me a trout. Give me a trout. Trout, there we go. Okay, that's not helping at all, so I'm gonna put that out of the way. Can I get a prompt on what the recipe is, like, on my HUD? Because that'd be great. I think the screens might tell me if I go into it. There we go. Uh, black pepper, thyme, and dill. Okay. Uh, that stuff is salt, I think. Yeah. That stuff, black pepper, that's horseradish. Dill. There we go. That's some stuff I need. Go 5G. You go there now. Uh, what's this stuff? Is that thyme or is that... That's cayenne pepper. Cayenne powder. Pepper? Powder. Cayenne something. Uh, thyme... Okay, there we go. Oops. Okay, yeah, you get out of my way. Alright. Um, uh, black pepper, black pepper, black pepper. Is this one? Oops. Okay. You can go over there. Okay, black pepper time and drilled, yep. Drill on a baking tray, where's a baking tray? Baking tray, um, I have one. Did, did they take it away from me because I was not a good cook or something? No, here it is. Is that thing still on? Oh my god, it is. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> did I leave it on from yesterday? Because that's real bad. Uh, you go on the baking tray. I don't know why it doesn't want the trap to go in the middle of the baking tray. It's very weird. Okay, you go in there. Go, go, go. Go, go in. Enter. There we go. Okay. You'll be able to see the temperature of it because it's inside the oven, right? I can look at it and be like, oh, well, that's that's cooking. Uh, horseradish. Oh, I need a lemon as well. Uh, lemon, lemon, lemon. Lemon is 
in this box over here. There we go, and I need to cut it into quarters using the exact same cutting board that I just used. That's perfectly safe. There we go, come here, knife. Chop, chop, chop. Uh, let me see. The rotating is very uh, quick. Not very precise at all. <laughs> Out there. Uh, yeah, that, that worked for part of it, but there's this other piece over here that needs to be cut down the middle. Oh no. <laughs> okay, that, that's that'll do. Uh, no more knives, I think. There we go. Okay. And then I have to garnish when it's ready. Uh, I don't know if it's been 90 seconds. Is there a timer on this, this oven? Oh, I can look at the trout and see how cooked it is. It's got like a bar there. I'm going to turn the oven off when we're done, I think, because it's not very good to leave it on like this. Nearly there. Ding. Didn't ding, but we're going to turn the oven off now. <laughs> Open. Okay. Uh, there's the baking tray. Uh, we want to put it on a plate now, right? is with horseradish. Let's see. Horseradish dried. Okay, so we can we can put it on the plate and then season with horseradish. I think Horse, horseradish. Let's grab a plate. Grab a trout. There we go. Come here, trout. Uh, we're just gonna put you over here. Go. Yeah, that's good. Just just almost off the edge of the off the edge of the counter. That's a great place for you. Uh, horseradish was right here, wasn't it? No, that one's salt. That's still that one's horseradish, right? Yes. We want five grams of that. There we go. You over there. Then we want some lemons. So we want to grab this plate and grab some lemon slices. No, not you. Boop, 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 boop. Oh no! Oh no! Get off the floor! Oh, I need to stand closer. Uh, can I crouch or something? Doesn't look like it. I don't know how to get down there. Uh, okay, and then we need some parsley as a garnish. It's over here. One, two, three. That should be plenty. And then we take it over here. Put it on there. What did I do? Complaints? Bad cutting technique, yeah! Fame score for at least the uh, at at least thirty. Okay. You you're welcome. I just just did that immediately. <laughs> Thanks. try a thing. Nope. I just plugged my mouse uh, into my switch dock because it seems like it would work better that way but it, it doesn't, it's not compatible. Pork chops with Ukrainian borscht. Let's go with this one. That sounds good. 
How do I select it? I click on the 15. Yeah, you can see this is very much designed to be played with a mouse on a computer, uh, and they haven't done a very good job of porting it to work with a controller. Might just switch to sandbox mode. Hang on, uh, back to menu. I'm not sure why there's no music during normal gameplay, like not even some quiet ambient stuff. That might be a Switch thing, I don't know. Quite a difference between frying and deep frying. It's know what your kitchen's equipped with. I shall. I believe in sandbox mode, there's essentially no money or time limits, you just have unlimited everything. So, that's probably a bit more my speed. And you get to pick like what people want, want to make rather than um, actually having to satisfy orders, which doesn't make any sense, but it's more fun. <laughs> so yeah, it does not work with a mouse at all. I am moving the mouse right now. No dice. I know that certain Switch titles do use a, do support a mouse, but this apparently isn't one of them. So that's a shame. Okay, so I believe the way this works, let me see, uh, is we can decide what people are going to order. Like if we go over here to the little computer thing. No. Nope. Where do we go? I'm not sure. A laptop maybe? Okay, so we have unlimited time. We can select... Everything is unlocked automatically. We can all... Select any any meal and it'll be ordered automatically. Make some gazpacho. Ding. Uh, we can turn on all the perks and switch them off at will, I believe. Yes. I'll turn on thermal vision again. I think that's just helpful. Uh, we can also yeah mess with this a bit, make it look more interesting. Again, you can see that this is clearly designed for a mouse even though you can't use one. Uh, let's make everything a bit spooky. Let's go with horror. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. <laughs> Wouldn't you love to just get some food from a place that looked like this? Wouldn't that make you feel safe? <laughs> oh yes, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness. This place looks terrible. <laughs> okay, how do we make a spacho? Let's find out. Add to the food processor, cucumber, tomato, red bell pepper, garlic, bread, blend. Okay, so we need to collect all those things. Um, let me see, if I get a cutting board... Actually, it might be easier just to grab this bucket down here. And just chuck them all in the bucket. There we go, we got a bucket. Uh, uh, tomato, 320 grams. Oh, look at all these lovely vegetables. Is that stuff cucumber? 120 grams is two cucumbers, I think. 20 grams of cucumber, uh, 360 grams of tomato, that might be a bit more because tomatoes are kind of small. 20, 240, 360, there we go. Alright, yes, that's right. Good. Uh, red bell pepper, 480. I think those might be a bit bigger. That's an apple. That's red bell pepper, is that it? Yeah, 240, 480, that's two of them. Yeah, and you can see I'm not spending money now because I'm in sandbox mode. Uh, 20 grams of garlic, and 150 grams of bread. Okay, garlic, I think, is... as bread. Uh... Garlic, garlic, garlic. I might be over here with the other spices. Dill, cilantro, coriander, as some people call it. Uh, bay leaf, sage leaf, parsley, thyme, rosemary, basil, oregano. Uh, where is garlic?
Katana, horseradish, ginger, potato, bell peppers, is that stuff garlic? There we go. How much do they want? 20 grams? Something like that? 20 grams of garlic, 150 grams of bread. Okay, so I actually want half as much bread as they're actually offering me, which is... Hmm. This is like the bread option here. That's 300 grams of bread. How do I get half of that? Advanced controls? Oh god. Oh god! <laughs> no! <laughs> Just chip everything on the floor. Uh, why not? Uh, can I crouch down or something? So I can, I can get that? Or is, is there a way to do that? Okay, okay, ZR is crouch, there we go. Okay, let me just uh, grab everything again. Get back in there, okay. You too. Get back in there, okay. So how do I get half a, half a bread? Do I have to pick it up and then cut it in half? I guess I can do that, it's just annoying. <laughs> um... Stacking? What does that do? Uh, okay, I'm going to put the container on the floor so I can reach in and grab stuff out. There we go, there's some bread. Let's go put the bread on the cutting board, there we go. And then let's grab a knife. A nice sharp knife, there we go. And then we're going to chop this bread in half. Nice and smooth down the middle. Uh, that's not quite the middle. Um, see how we did. Uh, you just, you just, you just go over there. Okay, 189 grams, uh... I'm gonna say that's close enough. <laughs> okay, so that's the ingredients we need in there. Now we gotta put that in the food processor, which I think is... Uh, it's like a, like a little tabletop thingy. Yes, yeah, this thing, right? Food processor, yes! So we wanna grab this, and we wanna... Get the stuff out of the bucket, I guess. Context. No, I wanna... Okay, I think I need to grab the bucket. And then tip the stuff into here. Oh, this is going to be great fun. Here we go. Here we go. Can I move it a bit further over? It's not quite in the right spot. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> that kind of worked. <laughs> oh jeez. Okay, let's just uh, grab everything off the floor again. There we go. Delicious. Okay, now we're going to put that in the food processor. There we go. What's the recipe say? Uh, blend. It doesn't say how long, so I guess I'll just press the button and see what happens. Okay, I guess it's done. Uh, off. Yeah, aiming at these tiny buttons is really, really fiddly. Um, I don't think they thought about how that would be with a controller. Add to the mixture olive oil, so I need... What do I need? Olive oil, uh, wine vinegar, salt, and black pepper. Okay. Uh, that stuff's olive oil, there we go. Come here. How much? 30 mils. Alright. Uh, can I not pour it into that? I think you want to let me do that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're doing this. We're making this happen. Ah, uh, no. I had to keep, keep holding the button. Okay. Up, up, up. Okay, 30 mils-ish. Oh, oh god. Close bottle. <laughs> okay. Okay, olive oil. Um, what else do we need? Uh, wine, vinegar, salt, and black pepper. Uh, I think they're all over here, probably. Wine vinegar, what does that look like? This one. How much of it? Wine vinegar, 30 mils again. Oh god, look. <laughs> I spilled some olive oil. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh god, I poured so much wine vinegar into this. It was supposed to be 30 mils and I poured in... God, how much did I pour in? <laughs> oh no! I poured in like, like a liter of the stuff. <laughs> oh no! Okay, some salt and pepper now. Uh, I might just grab my bucket so I can bring them over more quickly. Uh, I assume they're over here somewhere. 
Sugar. There we are. Pepper. Uh, yeah, go in the. In go in the bucket. What's happening? Why is it floating like that? Okay. Uh, it's salt as well. Is that one on the end? No. Is it that one? That's sugar. Where is salt? Is it down the bottom here somewhere? It doesn't look like it. I am black pepper. Salt! There it is. Okay. And bring our bucket over here. We only want a little bit of each of those. It's gonna basically taste like vinegar. Uh, I hope that's okay with everyone who, who ordered, which is no one because it's a sandbox mode, but in the spirit of things. I guess you can't like tip stuff into the food processor container and that's why it's complaining. Like maybe if I move it over here, it'll let me easily more, more easily pour things into it. Find out. Yeah, yeah, it'll let me do this now. So that was my problem. Uh, Uh, I'm, I still, I don't think this is going to taste like gazpacho. I think it's going to taste like wine vinegar. <laughs> oh my goodness. I made a bit of a mistake. Just a slight error. Um. There we go. Okay. Uh, then I have to put it in like a bowl or something, right? Into a deep plate. Okay. Deep plate. That's, uh, this one. There we go. Some delicious gazpacho. Or vinegar. <laughs> Garnish with chives. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, how much? Eight grams? I can do that. Give me a plate. Oh god, it's spilling. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, which one's chives? What do chives look like? There they are. There we go. Some delicious gazpacho with chives. Definitely not too much wine vinegar. Let's serve it up. Surprisingly good score, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Best complaints, not enough cucumber. Too much wine vinegar, not enough tomatoes. <laughs> Technique perfect, temperature perfect. <laughs> Great. Uh, let's make something else, that was fun. Uh, I think this is probably more fun just in sandbox mode because you don't have any time limits to worry about. Uh, fried shrimp, baked cod. Uh, There's something, something I can make it look really silly, ideally. Oh, there we go. How about a, how about a hamburger? There we go. New order. Let's see what we can do with this. Oh, there's no TV on this side. <laughs> okay. You know those TVs that they have in restaurants where you just like look at them and it automatically shows you the recipe you need? Oh no, slicing. Oh, this is going to be really hard, isn't it? Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna suffer. <laughs> what if I just give them a whole tomato, a whole, you know, a whole, a whole chunk of cheddar? Would that, would that be better? Are you happy with that? <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, bake burger buns and then take burger meat. Eighty grams. What's the difference? Oh, bu oh, buns is like the the, the um the bread part. The yeah, you bake them first, just so they're a little, little, uh, little warm, I guess. That's onto a plate. Yeah, they've got to be in a certain order or it's wrong. Okay, burger meat, 112 grams. Okay, so that's going to be in the fridge. Let's just make a really simple burger that doesn't have anything else on it besides the meat. <laughs> and 12 grams, so just, just one patty is all we need, apparently. There we go. There we go. Delicious. 
I was gonna put this on the counter directly. Uh, that's probably that's probably fine. I don't think anyone will have a problem with that. Um, we want a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. So here's some salt. Here's some pepper. <laughs> uh, it's not quite what I had in mind. Where, where, are, you, where are you going? Oh, uh, let us let's just pick up our meat off the floor. Um, okay, let's try that again. <laughs> uh. Okay, burger meat, three grams. There we go. Uh, and some salt, and we want to fry 50 seconds on each side, apparently. Well, we can do our best. We'll, we'll see how we go. Frying, you need oil, right? Oops. Oh. Yeah, I would describe the controls as, like, not very good if you're playing on a Switch. I believe they are a bit more precise if you're not. Like, it is one of those games where it's not supposed to be super precise, like, it's part of the fun, but I think it would probably be more fun uh, playing with a mouse and perhaps a keyboard than playing with this thing. <laughs> uh, we need some olive oil. Uh, avocado oil will do, that's the same thing. Oh, sun let's try sunflower oil. Here we go. A little bit should be fine. Just a dash. A little more than that. It's not even visible yet, so probably need a little bit more than that. There we go, that should be enough. I hope. Okay, then we're gonna put that, uh, little meaty thing, little, little, little meat puck into the pan we just sunflowered. Oops, and we're gonna turn on the wrong burner again. Uh, it's this one. Okay, we've got some sizzle going. Oh, I see. It's got the little picture of the frying pan because you have to use frying pan. I see. I see how it is. It thinks I have soup because I put a little bit of oil in there. <laughs> okay. Okay, then we're gonna... Why is the top side getting browned? That's, that's not how cooking works. Like, like the, the bottom side would get browned. And then I flip it over, and then I get to hook the bottom side again, right? Like, like, that, that's how it works. Okay, just make sure it's cooked. Make sure it's cooked. There we go. Okay, now we want to flip it. Uh, how do I do that? Uh, move it to one of the other... If I can find, like, a spatula or something to flip it with, that'd be great. Spatula, spatula. I'm not seeing any spatula. Oh, tongs, that'll work. There we go. Come here, tongs. Okay, how do I turn this thing around? Whoop! <laughs> oh, okay, that's not quite what I had in mind, but okay. Uh, release. Um, not quite. Pick that up. Oh, oh no. Oh no. It's getting away. Can't use tongs there? Uh, do I need to pick it up normally now? Is it too cold? What's going on? Is it, is it just stuck there? Oh no. What have I done? Why does it say no tongs? Do I have to crouch? Get in a better angle? No, I, I, it's just stuck there. I can't use tongs. Oh no. Uh, you just, you just, uh, oh, spatulas, there they are. Uh, let's see if one of these can help me. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Uh, you've just, uh... Just, just, uh, just, just... Oh, God, okay. <laughs> um, let me just, uh, see if I can... Oh, no. A hold to rotate, but it's not actually rotating when I press A, so I'm a little confused. I have no idea if that's the right way up. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, that's fully cooked, so I guess probably not, but... Okay, but now we have a spatula, so we can try to flip it again. <laughs> okay, come here. Okay. Oh no! Okay, just pick it up off the floor. Okay, and take it slowly, 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 into context. 
Okay, and then we want to. There we go. Now it's the other way up. Uh, and it should be cooking the other side, right? Yeah, I think. Or is that does that red mean it's burning? I don't really know. I'm gonna hope it's right. <laughs> uh, can we lower the heat? Maybe might be good. Hopefully it'll stay hot. It's in like a hot saucepan. It should stay hot for a little while. Uh, we still need buns. Where are the buns? Um, well, they're not going to be in the fridge because they're like, they're bread, right? Should be around the bread. Maybe, maybe I just have to order them from the shop. Everything is free, I'm pretty sure, so I can probably just order some burger buns. There we are. Burger bun. Bye. Uh, you just... Go there. Burger bun. Bye. There we go, yeah, two two tops. That's the kind we want. That's the kind of buns we like. Let me just put them on this plate. Oh, the plate doesn't exist until I pick it up, I think. Because I'm technically buying it, even though it's free now. Okay, now we can grab both of those with our plate. Or we can try, anyway. Okay, come here. Okay, we got our buns. Uh, they need to get put into the oven, right? What was it? Yeah, bake for 30 seconds. Uh, okay, so we need a baking tray. Are there any in the oven, or are they nearby somewhere? Baking tray. Oh, yep, there they are. Give me a bake tray. Uh, where did my other burger bun go? They drop it somewhere? Is it in the middle? Is it is it in there somewhere? Uh, I can't see it. Oh, it's underneath the plate. Of course it is. <laughs> Look, there it is. <laughs> it just went through the plate, as you do. There we go. They'll be fine. I'm sure. I'm sure they'll be fine. Open the oven. You get in there. Have a nice time. All right. Uh, and this is going to be getting a bit cold. Can I... I don't want to burn it, but I don't want to get cold either. Uh, how are these doing? Okay, they're cooking fine. <laughs> there we go, that should do it. Uh... Can I grab the baking tray? I can! I can grab the hot baking tray and just, just, uh... Oh, okay. What's that spatula? Uh, all the tongs maybe might be better. Let's see. Let's see how we go. Right. Uh, you, hot bun, you just, just, just get over here. There we go. I'm gonna go on that plate. Or... not. Okay. I can pick it up now. Okay. Uh, just, yeah, you go on the plate. There we go. And I'll put the baking tray back over here without cleaning it. That should be fine. I'm sure no one will complain. Uh, can I pick this up now or is it still too hot? It's still too hot. That's good. It should still be too hot. <laughs> okay, just grab this. Oh. Uh, um. Okay. <laughs> Things like to go through each other in this game, I'm getting the impression. Uh, I think like many simulator games, the physics engine is deliberately not great uh, to make fun things happen, essentially. Okay, so we want to uh, uh, just drop you off here. Uh, that's not quite what I had in mind, but let me just uh, try that again. Okay, that'll do. Uh, then we'll just... Put this out of the way. We'll put this on top. Oh no! <laughs> My bun! <laughs> oh no. Uh, yeah, that. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's our hamburger. Oh no. What is happening here? Why does this thing keep going through everything? What do the tongs think of it? They, they uh, sort of work. 
sort of. Okay, is the meat on the plate now? Uh, yes. Okay, uh, that'll just have to do. Sorry, sorry for the, uh, meal. <laughs> I know it's terrible. <laughs> I'm sure it tastes great. I want to take oh sunflower oil. I shouldn't have used that. Oh, not enough ketchup. Missing onion. Missing cheddar. Missing to oh, t oh temperature was perfect. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, they tipped us nothing. They they did not like the sunflower oil or the ketchup not being there or the onion and cheddar and tomato all being missing. They had some problems. Well, you are welcome. I'm glad you enjoyed your meal. Uh, we're at about an hour, so I think my overall opinion of this game is it's better if you don't play it on the Switch. Oh, that's where you get background music. You switch on the radio, and then it plays as you're doing stuff. Okay, that makes more sense. But yeah, I think it's much better if you can play this game with a mouse instead of a gamepad. And you can't play the Switch version with a mouse. Uh, so, like, it's supposed to be, like, uncomfortable and fiddly and chaotic chaos is supposed to happen, but I think it's a bit excessive if you're playing it using a Switch controller instead of a mouse. And I think it's probably more fun and it's going to look nicer as well if you're playing it on a computer rather than on a Switch. Uh, I'm going to mop up real quick. Oh, uh, oops. Uh, mop, mop. Okay, there we go. Where else I leave a mess? Over here? <laughs> I think I can use like a sponge or something to... Oh, hello. Hello knife on the floor. That's a good place for you. Okay. Uh, I think I can get like a sponge or something to wipe up all the spills on the counter, of which there are many. This is a safe place to put this, right? Taste? There's a taste button. Can I taste it? I'm pressing it and nothing's happening. I don't know how that works. Put it right on the edge, like this. Yeah, that looks safe. Oh no! <laughs> okay, we can use that again for something else now that it's empty. Don't need to clean it or anything, it'll be fine. Press to start. What is this? Oh, it's like a, oh, like a darts game, I guess. There's a dartboard there. Hey, cookbook. I didn't do anything. Uh, hey, phone. Can I break this with anything? How about this thing? <laughs> Apparently not. Yeah, it's just unbreakable. Somehow. Oh well. Um. Let me see here. Ah, perfect. Yeah, this will do. Do nicely. Oops. Just, just get in the deep fryer. <laughs> get in the deep fryer. <laughs> Perfect, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's fill this with oil now. Oh, delicious. <laughs> Is it gonna do anything? Hmm. Well, let's throw some more stuff in there. Uh, what else do we have in here? There we go. Uh, let me just grab that bucket so I can grab a bunch of meats. Oh! Oh, it, it actually moved the, the um, gas canister over there, apparently. Did it actually explode? While I wasn't looking? I didn't hear anything. Uh, here we go, sausages. Grab a bunch of those. Oh, great. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh. Um, um, yeah, just stack everything on top. That's perfect. Okay, uh... Just, uh, whoops. Oh god. Get in there. 
Okay, you in there now? Alright, alright, there's some in there. They're cooking? Yes, actually. Okay. <laughs> uh, what else can we put in there? Uh, something a bit smaller, preferably, that will actually fit in the bucket. Hey, let's just make a bunch of those burger meats. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. There we go, that should do the trick. Come on, meats. Let's let's have a party. Okay, that wasn't quite what I had in mind, but it was fun. So that 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 you get points for that. <laughs> Okay. Uh, drop that bucket. Okay, there's some in this one now, so I'm gonna need to uh, turn this one on as well, so that they get cooked. There we go. How's that doing? Oh, look at that sausage. It's deliciously burnt. Actually, you are supposed to deep fry the sausages according to this. Or is that just like what I did to them, so it's reminding me? I think it might just be what I did to them, rather than what you're supposed to do to them. Like if I have a look over here, I think it tells you the correct thing. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Hmm. But it's just what I did to them anyway, because it's not telling me anything on the fresh ones. Hey, bowls! Here we go. <laughs> so yeah, um, I think this game looks really fun, but it would probably be more fun if you play it on something that is not the Switch. Preferably something with a mouse, uh, because the game demands a certain level of precision and not being able to provide that level of precision is part of the fun, but I think it's a bit excessive uh, when you play it with a gamepad instead of a mouse. You just lose a lot more precision than the game is intending, I think. If that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Okay, I was trying to throw it into the fryer, but that works too. That's more like it. Delicious glass. Oh my god. Look what happened to these burgers. It's like completely blackened. Oh, wonderful. I'm gonna leave them there to soak in some of that delicious oil. Can I scoop the oil into the bucket? Probably not, right? Liquid physics are really hard. Oh, maybe. It doesn't look like it. Mm. Oh! Okay, you have to stand still when you grab something. Otherwise it's just gonna fall on the floor. Uh, yeah, we'll have pumpkin. Give me a banana. There we go. Give me some of that parsley. Give me some of that bread. Give me some of that broccoli. Uh, I don't know what I'm making here. I'm just basically picking random ingredients. There we go. That can go in the food processor, I reckon. Uh, I mean, let me just put that down, and then... Can I grab it? There we go. Looks like if it's on the food processor, you get fewer options to do things with it, which is interesting. That sort of worked. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna put the bucket on the ground so I can get the pumpkin out of it. Oh no, the bananas are on the floor! Come here, bananas. You need to go into this delicious mix. Along with the bread. Don't forget that broccoli. Ah, come here, broccoli. Okay, that's a start. If I blend that, it should be able to fit more things into it once it's done, right? Don't bother putting a lid on or anything. Oh, it automatically puts a lid on. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think I'm pretty much done talking about this. I'm glad it was only $3 because I don't think this version of the game is super good. 
Um, I think it's probably a really good game, but I don't think it's very playable on the Switch because of the limitations of the platform. And it also doesn't look super great, which is kind of weird. I think the Switch is capable of looking better than this. I think it's basically a lazy port, is what I would say, based on what I'm seeing. <gasps> In the Hall of the Mountain King! I love that one. Um... I mean, it's still, it's still a lot of fun to mess around with. I don't think I want to play through the story mode and actually try to cook things well in this game, at least on Switch. Um, but messing around with it is super fun, so... Let me just uh, make this pumpkin a little easier to fit into the food processor. There we go. It's just little pieces of pumpkin. Little, little pumpkins. Little pumpkins. There we go. <laughs> Oh, that's not where I wanted you to go. You're meant to go into the mix. Okay, you just go over there. Uh, I think I can just... Oops. If I grab this, I can, like, multi-select the things, right? Or I can just grab them individually. Uh, don't move. Gotta stay still when you're grabbing something, otherwise it's just gonna go on the floor. Oh no, my patty! I can see it there, covered in... I think that's wine vinegar? I'm not sure. Oh, and the whole of the Mountain King is perfect. Perfect for this. It's beautiful. Put in container. There we go. Okay. Why is it not chopping up that piece of pumpkin? Is it just too big to fit? Oh well. Oh god, it spilt everywhere. <laughs> oh no. Uh, yeah, get in there. This is a good safe place to put a, a thing with metal on it, right? Microwave? I just want to go in. Is the game trying to keep me from doing something dangerous? Because, I mean, everything in this game is dangerous. There we go. Close. Oh no, it went right through. <laughs> and now it's stuck. Hmm. Okay, anyway, I'm, I've been fiddling around enough. Yeah, you can see that this is fun as a sandbox, I think, as a challenging, genuine experience. You would want to play it on a system with a real controller. It's fun enough, like, sandbox here. You can get past the fiddliness because there's no time limit and you have to worry about doing things badly because that's the whole fun, but... If you are wanting to play this game seriously, uh, in the new game mode, where it's got like a story mode and all that, you would need to do things a bit differently. How do I use this? Uh, X to clean. Okay. Red stick? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Sort of. <laughs> Using the right stick to do this. Obviously you're supposed to use the mouse and you'd have a lot more precision over where, where, you, where you clean and how fast you do it and stuff like that. <sighs> but anyway, uh, that was Cooking Simulator, uh, a game that's probably better not on the Switch. <laughs> I've said that a lot of times now. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope I managed to make some compelling dishes that you might like to try at home. Always spill all your sunflower oil. Was that olive oil? All your oil. No, no, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Every kind of oil. Make sure you break the bottle and spill it all over the floor like this. That's that's just the way to get the tastiest food. Um, uh, really doesn't want me to put metal things into this microwave, does it? Uh, yeah, so, this is a game. <laughs> what about... Try something else. What about... 
need something smaller. Oh, hello. Fire extinguisher. There we go. Let's try this. Not exactly smaller, but it sounds like fun, so let's do it. Get in there. Yep, that's it. That's it. Close. It's in. Yes! <laughs> yes. Don't try this at home. Um, do not put things in your, into the microwave that, that might be, like, made of metal. A real bad idea. Okay, anyway, yeah, Cooking Simulator. Uh, a game that's really, really fiddly and precise to play on the Switch, but it's probably a lot more fun to play on more or less anything else. This thing that hit the uh, power level? That one there? Yes. Oh! I guess my fire extinguisher is gone. I blew it up with a microwave. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye! <laughs>